Well, hello everybody and welcome to a wet and miserable day in the UK. <laughs> so I thought it has been a long, long time since I have done uh, my uh, top 10 favourites. So I thought this is a good opportunity to um, look back in the archives probably over the last year or so um, and pick out a few of the images that I particularly like and uh, what I'm going to do is um, if uh, any of you particularly like one of the images and uh, you get in touch with me uh, via my website where the link is below I will give 20% off a print uh, and you can find the pricing again on my website uh, and as I say I will give 20% off that price so uh, let's have a look at the first image it's not in any particular order of preference and I will just sort of roughly tell you uh, where they were taken and what I did uh, to create them so let's have a look at the first image now this image has uh, made it into my top 10 and I do quite like the final effect I managed to get with it it was initially just a, a picture of a, a single tree uh, which I had made a final image of and I was just playing around with some bako foil one day and I thought that might be quite a cool effect to superimpose um, over a, a, an image. So I crumpled the bako foil up and then spread it out, took a picture of it and superimposed it onto the tree. And I think the effect was quite good at the end. So um, it just goes to show that uh, a little bit of creativity can make a, quite a nice image at the end of the day. So yeah, that's definitely made it into uh, my top 10. This was actually taken at Hythe Marina, uh, looking over the water to Southampton docks. And I took a few images of this, brought them back home, and played around with them in iColorama and I sort of gave it this reflective effect and just played around with the colours and the tones and this is the image I ended up with which I was um, quite pleased with this was actually inspired uh, by an image I saw of Val de Bailey's if you've never seen her work look her up it just she just does amazing work so yeah this was inspired by her and I was very pleased with it at the end of the day so that has definitely made it into my top 10 this is a very simple image and I went to an overcliff and I was taking some pictures of people walking past and how I got this effect was I defocused the camera and I put a textured background in it and I thought the final image w was very effective and it's as I say it is so simple but for me it seems to work so that is definitely are one of my um, top 10 favorites this was taken in the new forest it was actually a stream running through the trees and I took it and on its own it was a very busy chaotic scene which didn't really seem to work that well but I played around with the uh, colors and uh, the reds are actually the stream and I then turned the top half into black and white and I think the contrast between the colors and the black and white uh, just really seemed to work something a little bit different which really helped the chaos because 
the black and white seems to mute it a little bit. So yeah, I, I was very pleased with that image at the end of the day. And now this image, which was featured in my last video, uh, was taken in the New Forest. And it's probably something a little bit different for me because it's not really so abstract. Although if you saw the original one, you can see that abstraction has been put into it slightly. Uh, but it did seem to work and it seemed to be a very pleasant image at the end of the day. Uh, I do like the muted colours in it. Yeah, so that's, that's a, an okay image. As I say, something a little bit out of the norm for me. This is an image that I felt I had to make on the day. Uh, I think I actually did a video on, on this one particular image. Um, I'm not too sure. I stand corrected if I'm wrong, but I think I did. But it, it was how I felt that particular day. And I just uh, thought I needed to make this image. Um, it, <sighs> It's all about depression, basically. And thank goodness uh, it's spoken about more these days than it used to be. And uh, I thought it ended up, especially in black and white, being quite a powerful image. Uh, not the sort of thing you'd probably want on your wall, I agree. But again, as I say, it was something I felt I had to make. So that had to make it into uh, my top 10. Not really a great deal to say about this image. Uh, it just seems to work. It was again taken on the overcliff at Barton on Sea near me. And again, it was created through de defocusing the camera. Uh, put it into iColorama and just give this smoke effect over it. And uh, it just seemed to work. Um, I think what really makes it is the dog. I think without that, it probably wouldn't be that great. But um, with it, I think it's a good image. So that's another one in my top 10. This is uh, another image um, taken at Hythe Marina overlooking Southampton docks. And I just put it into iColorama, played around with various settings and colors and ended up with this. Uh, this is the beauty of iColorama. There are so many um, little settings and tweaks you can do to images and at the end get some pretty cool effects. And I think this was probably one of those that really worked. Playing around for maybe hours on end until you get something you like. But at the end of the day, it can pay off. So yeah, that is one that I um, do particularly like. This was taken at Lyme Regis in, I think, is Lyme Regis in Dorset? I think so. I stand corrected if it's not. But anyway, it was Lyme Regis. And I went down there specifically to take some uh, images of, uh, of the uh, uh, houses on the cliff edge or the seafront. And I bought them back and played around with the uh, different settings and colours in iColorama and ended up with this image, which I was really, really pleased with. Something really different and would look really colourful on your wall, I think. So, yeah, that was a uh, good day, uh, even though they'd blocked the road off and I had to do about a 10 mile diversion to get there. But hey ho, that's life. Um, so yeah, well pleased with that at the end of the day. Well, this is the last one in my top 10. And this was taken uh, at uh, Paul Key. And it was uh, ICM of some boats that were going out of the harbour. Uh, as I said in my last video, I don't do a great deal of ICM anymore these days. Um, but if I do see an image that I think will suit it, I will do it. Um, but just played around with the um, uh, colours and 
probably the histogram ended up giving me this image which I was quite pleased with. So yeah that is it. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these um, top 10 favourites of mine. As I say it's been a long time since I've done it and if as I said at the beginning if there's any image you particularly think you would like a print of please go to my website and uh, I will give you 20% off. So um, I think all that's left to be said is if you uh, would like to support me in a small way uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee <laughs> so just go to Kofi in the link below or you can become a member for five pound a month and I will send you a um, print file that you can either a print off or you can use it as a wallpaper or you can chuck it in the bin <laughs> so um, yeah that would be uh, much appreciated uh, so yeah thanks very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it I've certainly enjoyed coming back uh, and it's only thanks to you lovely guys that I am so yeah bless you and thank you for that so until the next time this is John Dexter saying bye for now